Hello and welcome to another Roth's weekly ocean conditions update in the Gulf of Mexico for the week of Tuesday, August 27th, 2024. Uh, it is Labor Day week. Labor Day is coming up this coming Monday. Uh, Roth's will be closed in observance, in observance of Labor Day on September 2nd, 2024. We will, however, be open regular hours on uh, through Friday this week, as well as Saturday this week, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, more on that later. We'll jump right on into the conditions here. Uh, looking in the Eastern Gulf, um, you can now see pretty clearly that a new loop current eddy has formed, centered out towards the Atwater Valley, southeast of the Mississippi River Delta. Um, you can see this blue-green water coming around the, the perimeter uh, of the loop current eddy. Um, you have the main body of the loop current circulating in a clockwise direction down here pretty far to the south. And um, unusually, um, we do have a counterclockwise rotating eddy sort of bumped in here to the west of the loop current and, and south of the new loop current eddy. Um, but the main clockwise circulation of the Loop Current Eddy is up here towards the Atwater Valley and uh, southwest of the Lloyds Ridge. Um, you still have um, a lot of cleaner blue water um, in over the area southwest of Tampa. Um, some of it's getting pulled up in here towards the area south southwest of Cape San Blas. Um, you have a multitude of eddy features both clockwise and counterclockwise in here to the west of Tampa up towards the far Florida Middle Grounds and south southeast of Cape San Blas. Um, all of these features are, are both helping the blue water um, blend into more blended blue and blue green as you progress more northwest uh, towards the area of the wings and the squiggles. Um, they are also helping pull some of the green water down and offshore. Uh, but nonetheless, there are there is still a lot of clean cleaner blue blue to blended blue water in there, um, and some some favorable areas to fish off of Tampa. Um, looking up here uh, offshore of Pensacola, Orange Beach, Destin, uh, south southeast of the Mississippi River Delta, uh, you do have some greener water coming out off to the east uh, along the, the northern edge of that that Loop Current Eddy being that, that's really helping it pull out here uh, all the way over into the DeSoto Canyon north of that water valley north of the Lloyds Ridge area. Uh, two counterclockwise rotating eddies uh, in the green to blue green water. One, one in the area of the double nipple, one out over the southern DeSoto Canyon. Um, but both of these features are, are still helping the bluer water to come in up over DeSoto Canyon uh, in towards the area of the steps and all the rigs, the Rampal Petronius uh, in there. Uh, so between the double nipple and the steps uh, out the Soto Canyon, uh, there is cleaner, bl bluer to blended blue water with some of that water even moving inshore now uh, towards the spur, towards the nipple, and towards the elbow areas. So um, these, these areas inshore the Soto Canyon that had had um, dirtier green to blue green water for quite some time. Um, the, the circulation of the sloop current eddy, as well as these two counterclockwise circulations out toward a double nipple in the southern DeSoto Canyon, are now helping some of this cleaner blue water come in over DeSoto Canyon up, up between the spur and the nipple, creating some, some cleaner water and some more favorable conditions offshore of Pensacola and Orange Beach. South southwest of the delta. Um, as you can see here in this ocean color image, out towards the dump site, Mississippi Canyon, um, and out towards the areas inshore of Green Canyon, there just is an overall abundance of dirtier green water. Um, you do have a clockwise rotating eddy here out towards the Green Canyon, and a counterclockwise rotating eddy further offshore that is pulling some cleaner blue water in towards the, uh, the Green Canyon. But conditions do look more favorable now further eastward, uh, Outwater Valley, Lloyd's Ridge, and into the DeSoto Canyon area. Uh, fortunately for those fishing in the Western Gulf out of Freeport, Aransas, Brownsville, Texas, um, as you can see here, uh, this 
feature off here clockwise rotating is a remnant loop current eddy that's been slowly drifting to the west southwest and is and it's still in there um, for quite some time now but this feature along with a, a relatively large counterclockwise eddy uh, down here towards the texas mexico border another one up here towards colt 45 uh, a little bit north of colt 45 uh, these features along with this clockwise rotating eddy uh, is helping the cleaner blue water come in Texas Canyon, Colt 45, and towards the Aransas Bank, Big Southern, over the east breaks, um, circulating then to the east and northeastward, hilltops, dump site, uh, over the flower gardens areas. Um, lots of blue water in, in there. Looks much better in the western gulf uh, than, it, than it had uh, earlier in the season in, in May and June. That's about it for this week. As we said earlier, um, we're also be closed on Monday, September 2nd in observance of Labor Day. Open regular hours uh, this week, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Open Saturday, 9 a.m. To, to 4 p.m. Uh, for all your, your fishing needs. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels at Ross Fishing on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, we will catch up with you again in two weeks. Thank you and have a safe and happy Labor Day.